2021 is almost over. It's been another unpredictable year, but one thing we've all been able to rely on to get us through it is our creativity. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you express your creativity through photography. And today, we're gonna to sit down and evaluate how well you've done as a photographer this year, and whether you feel you've achieved your photographic goals. Now before we get on to the topic of this video, welcome to my new office. Yes, that's right, we've just moved house and that's one of the reasons why my uploads have been quite sporadic over the last month or so. So apologies for those who haven't been getting your regular Sunday videos, but now that I've moved in, hopefully after Christmas and New Year, I'll be back to my normal schedule. I just wanted to say before we get started, you know, welcome to my new office. And um, yeah, this is where I'm going to be filming a lot of my videos from now on. But uh, of course, don't worry, I will still be going out a lot and doing on location style shoots. But I want to use this office space to do some other styles of videos, such as evaluation videos, but also these new videos that I've been pondering for a while now, where I sit down and talk about topics that will help you personally progress with your photographic journey. And that's all beginning today with this video here. So now that I've introduced you to, to the new office, let's get started on the topic of today's video. And that's evaluating whether you personally have succeeded in your photographic goals this year. So as I say, this video is the beginning of a new segment on my channel where I'm gonna help you to uncover your true potential. Now I love showcasing my own photographic journey and also showing Scotland to you all through my channel. But I also wanna help you all, no matter where you live in the world, to find your own photographic voices. At the start of this year, I began my online photography mentorship programme and it's made me realise how valuable it is to help people discover themselves creatively and to go out and spend more time doing the things that they love. By the way, I've got an exciting announcement coming out about my online photography mentorship programme on the 1st of January. So if you're interested in signing up, stay tuned for that. So this new segment on my channel is going to use a mixture of teaching and self-development techniques. Some of these videos and the topics that I cover will speak to you more than others, but I assure you that if you stick with this content that you won't just become a better photographer, but you'll become a better person too. Now I know that is a really bold statement to make, but over the last few years I've been on my own personal journey of self-discovery and I've realised that it's made me become not just better within my photographic work, but a better person too. And I now feel that it's time for me to sit down and share a lot of the techniques that I've learned with the world so that I can help people like you to discover your own true potential. And that all begins today. So have you succeeded as a photographer in 2021? It's time to find out. To begin with, I want you all to think back to the start of this year. Did you set yourself goals for the year ahead? Maybe places that you wanted to visit and photograph, projects that you wanted to work on, or photographic techniques that you wanted to learn and practice throughout the year. Maybe you didn't set yourself any goals and you're sitting there right now scratching your head. Don't worry if this is you. My first video of 2022 will help you set goals for the new year. But if you did, I want you now to think about whether you achieved those goals or not. If you did, fantastic, you can now build on those achievements or set yourself new goals for 2022. If you didn't, I want you to think now about why. Did travel restrictions stop you going to the places that you'd planned to go or did you prioritise other things over learning the techniques that you'd planned to learn throughout the year? One of the greatest things that we can do to work out why we haven't achieved the things that we want to achieve is what has stopped us achieving them. If you're one of the people who didn't set yourself any clear goals for the year ahead, you had nothing to work towards. One of the most powerful things that I've seen in my clients this year are the ones who set themselves clear goals and work towards achieving those goals, progress with their photography far quicker than the ones who don't. Therefore, before you can even decide if you succeeded as a photographer this year, 
you must work out whether you had any clear intention set for the year or not. If the last section didn't resonate with you, don't worry, I'll be doing more on goal setting as these videos progress. But one thing that we can all do is look at the photographs that we've taken this year. Now some of you won't have many images and others of you will have thousands of images to look through. It's not about the amount of photographs that you've taken this year that counts. It's about how successful you feel those photographs are in achieving the emotion, the atmosphere, the feel and the composition that you wanted to achieve when you were in the field. I'd highly recommend that you all sit down and look through your images before the year is out. You may discover images that you'd forgotten that you'd taken or discover that you've been out a lot more or less than you thought you had. Either way, it's a great thing to do and you can learn a lot from the process. Now that you've looked through all your photographs from the year, it's time to pick your top 10 images of 2021. This isn't an easy task, but it's a great way to evaluate how well you've done in your photography this year. I'd recommend picking your favourite images or the ones that speak to you the most. Maybe they're your favourites because of the memories attached to them, or maybe you photographed something new or exciting. Once you've picked them, save them in a folder on your computer. This is a record of your photographic achievements for the year. If you're happy to, why not post them on your social media pages too? If you have Instagram and do this, feel free to use the hashtag mytop 10 for kg and I'll look through them and see how you've done this year. If you want to see my top 10 images from the year, stay tuned because I'll be sharing them with you in the next video. Chances are this will be the hardest section for many of you, but please stick with it. Now that you've looked back at the goals that you set yourself this year, if you had any, and whether you've achieved them or not, look to all the images that you've taken throughout the year and chosen your top 10 photographs. How do you feel? If you've got more positive emotions than negative emotions towards your photography, then you succeeded within your photography this year. If you've got more negative emotions than positive, then you're going to have to put more goals in place next year to help you work on the areas that you feel disappointed in. Don't dwell on it though. It's time to move forwards and see what areas you can work on to help you have a more positive experience as a photographer in 2022. The purpose of this video has really been to help you progress forwards with your photography or keep you on the road to progressing forwards if you're already on that road. I really just want to try and help people I think now moving forwards and whether you want to undertake these tasks or not is completely up to yourselves. But even if just a handful of you do it, it would be great for those people to move forwards and progress with their photography. If you'd like some help with goal setting, I plan to release a video on the 1st of January all about how you can set goals for your photography for the year of 2022. So if you feel like you need a little bit of help with goal setting, that video will hopefully help you. And also in that video, I'll be announcing a special offer for my online photography mentorship program, should you feel like you'd like some one-to-one -one support to help you get there. I hope this video has been useful to many of you and given you all some food for thought. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.